Hello everybody, this is Gerald Snivy and welcome back to more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. You know, it's raining here on this planet and it overall just looks really depressing. Let's go ahead and take a vacation. So yes, this is what we're going to be doing today. Taking the va well-deserved vacation because... Well, as I stated, Ratchet truly, truly deserves it. Let's go. Onward to Vacation Land! Welcome to the Vacation Planet, which the name of the planet I've already forgotten its name, or I can't even pronounce it all together. It's actually both. Anyways, here in this planet we can get a brand new weapon, the decoy glove, so let's go ahead and purchase it. I would normally wait till later, but eh, I feel like buying it now, because why the heck not? Oh look, looks like our host is right here to greet us. Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friend, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said... I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. But you better not try to stiff us. <laughs> that sounds like fun. So, Chairman Drake officially hates nature. Kind of reminds me of someone else. <coughs> Dr. Eggman. <coughs> so, yes. Chairman Drake pretty much hates nature with a bloody passion. He also hates sun sunshine, flowers, rainbows, puppies, children, and chocolate. Because he's that evil of a person. So, yes. The decoy glove, what does it do? Well, it creates an Blah. It creates an inflatable dummy of yourself and enemies will target it and shoot it. You can use the opportunity to get past enemy fire while your dummy is taking all the hits. And you can use this opportunity to get behind the enemy and strike at their weak points for massive damage. Or you can use this opportunity to sneak by. Dang it, not again. So, what can I talk about today? Well, to tell the truth, this is a second attempt. The reason this is a second attempt is because I recorded an hour worth of footage, meaning I pretty much completed this planet and about half of another, but after bringing it into my editing software and begun editing, I noticed that my commentary just wasn't up to snuff, so I figure, you know what, just screw it, I'm going to do it again, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. In the commentary that I recorded previously, first let's Falcon Punch some fish, because I hate these freaking fish, because they gang rape you as soon as they get the chance. And we don't want that now, do we? No, we do not. Now getting back to what I was saying, first commentary recording attempt, I was bored out of my freaking mind, and I felt like I was forcing myself after listening to myself on playback. And I figured, you know what, this just simply won't do. I don't mind doing it again, it's not that, it's not that far back. So that's exactly what I'm doing now, because I want to deliver the best quality content that I can. Speaking of quality content, 
recently, when I'm recording this, which is on June the 30th, YouTube announced a few days ago that they're going to be introducing some new features, including, uh, including but not limited to, like, a fan fundraiser thing, where you can ask your fans to donate money to you if you want to. And among those new features, other than the fan donation thing and adding new stock sound effects for their audio library and royalty-free music, they also announced that they're soon going to be supporting 60 frames per sec- Yeah. They're soon going to be supporting videos up to 60 frames per second. How awesome is that? There aren't too many websites that even support 60 FPS. Sure, there are some, but it feels like today's society, 60 FPS is the norm. And I'm not sure why YouTube hasn't caught on to this until recently, but whatever. You know what they say, better late than never. Am I right? Want so much for that plan. So, what does this mean as far as video production is concerned? It doesn't really mean much. The only thing it means is that I'm going to concentrate on possibly getting into making videos primarily in 60 frames per second if they are recorded in that native format. Also because of this announcement, I'm also thinking about getting myself a new capture card. There's nothing wrong with the Elgato and it works flawlessly and I have had little to no problems with it whatsoever. However, there's a new affordable capture card on the market that can record 1080p at 60 frames per second, and it's by Avermedia. You might have heard this of this capture card, and it, you may also have heard some negative reviews about it, but it actually looks pretty good. I haven't tried it myself, and to tell the truth, I feel... I... What am I trying to say? I wish I could get my hands on a review copy, but I don't see any place on the Aver Media website where I can contact them and ask for a sponsorship deal, but but that's alright. I bought most of my equipment. In fact, I bought all my equipment. What am I saying? I have no freaking clue. Goodbye, fish. I hate you. Die. Die. So yeah, look forward to 60 FPS videos in the near and distant future. Not sure when it's going to be happening, even though I'm still going to try aiming for it right now with this, starting at this video, part 15 of Ratchet and Clank. Now another reason why I wanted to get a new capture card is, well, the Elgato can record 720p 60 frames per second, However, it can't record 60 FPS on 1080p. So that's reason number two of why I want to get a new capture card. And I don't want to fork out $500 for like a black magic capture card or anything like that. Heck, there's only one capture card I know from them that actually does support 1080p 60 FPS. And it's like a H.264 codec box or something? I have no idea. But yeah, the thing is incredibly expensive, and that, that, that is just out of my price range at the moment. Come on, die, thank you. I hate you fish, burn in the fire, go on a grill, I don't care. I don't care where you go, I don't care what you do, you do your fishy fishy things. Really? The last fish? Well, I'll be right back. Whew. Man, I made it, finally. Here? Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet, and wham! <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist, and the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem? I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. 
Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob in his robo chat. He knows about these locks. Hmm. Alright, thanks for the advice. Well, now we are introduced to a one-time mechanic within the Ratchet and Clank series, and that is these special locks. We need one more... Well, no, we need the next upgrade for Clank, and we can get this upgrade right here in Bob's Robo Shop. Well, well, what do we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all been to Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. Well then, let's go ahead and buy the thruster pack. I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad a hopping. <laughs> well, there you are, little buddy. Better than new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> Indeed. Well, with the new thruster pack upgrade, we gain a couple of, well, more or less an upgrade of some of our previous moves, including the ability to do like a slightly higher high jump, do a long jump that goes, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it goes not as far as the heli helipack, but I could be completely wrong. There's one more ability, well, more or less two more abilities that I need to go over. The first one is hovering around. All you have to do is just double tap the R1 button and you'll start hovering around with the thruster pack. Not sure what this is used for exactly. Maybe just to uh, move around slightly faster? Could be wrong. And here comes the next ability. All you have to do in order to execute this, just double jump and... What button was it? No, that's not it. There we go, that's better. All you have to do is double jump into the air, push the R1 button, and you'll do a ground pound. You have to do this in order to activate this switch. And there are several switches on future planets. Now let's go ahead and fly this here plane. Get flying like an eagle. There we go. Okay, flight controls. Kinda had to think for a moment, how do I fly this dang thing? Flying is relatively simple, just hold the square button to fire your main machine guns and push the either the circle button or the R1 button to fire missiles. You have a limited ammo capacity when it comes to your missiles, and those missiles that are available to you right then and there are highlighted in light green. Those that are slightly shaded out and in dark green, those are missiles that you... Those are the missiles that you don't have. So in other words, you need to make them light green in order for the missiles to become available to you. Missiles do slightly more damage to enemies than your machine gun will. However, the machine gun has unlimited ammo as opposed to missiles that only have a limited capacity. Which looks like they have approximately 16. 16 missiles, maybe? Not 100% sure. One other piece of uh, advice when it comes to the controls, you can push and hold the X button to fly faster if you need to. Also the bar on the lower right hand corner of the screen that is like red-ish, bluish, purplish kind of color, that's your health meter. Don't let it drop below zero and you'll be fine. It's simple as that. What we have to do now, well more or less we've been doing this for quite a while, but I haven't really gone all over the mission objective. The mission objective is this, we need to take out these big ships. And there we go, mission complete. Simple as pie. Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. And now, thanks, blah, 
now that we completed our ta task slash duty, we now have attained the O2 mask. With the O2 mask, we can breathe underwater now. Awesome! Right? Oh yes, it is awesome. Not only will it be useful for breathing underwater, but it will also be useful for breathing in the poisonous atmosphere on Chairman Drek's home planet. So that is freaking awesome. And that's basically what the O2 mask is going to be used for. Breathing underwater and breathing in toxic fumes and stuff. But with that, we're pretty much done with this planet. Although there is one more thing we could do here. I'm going to hold off because... Well, if we do go through this uh, little extra obstacle course thing, we won't be able to fully complete the mission objective until we obtain something called Raritanium. Raritanium is a staple within the Ratchet and Clank series. Later would have a primary use, but in this game it's a type of material that you will have to trade in for somebody in order to get another very, very useful item. But we'll worry about that later, because we need to get off this planet so we can return to Chairman Drex planet, which we will do next time. This is Gerald Snivy with Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. Next time, we're going to be heading back to Chairman Jet. Yeah, we're going to be heading back to Chairman Drex home planet, and we're going to explore that toxic world as Ratchet. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all later.